All right, now, what is this snow line I'm talking about? Well, one thing that is strange about our solar system is that the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, the so-called terrestrial planets, they're small and they're rocky. Whereas the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they're huge, tens of or hundreds of times as big as the terrestrial planets, and they're mostly made of gas. They're called the gas giant planets, although we do think they have rocky inner cores. So the best explanation we have that for this revolves around something called the snow line. The idea was that in the early solar nebula, which is sort of depicted by an artist in this background image, the closer you were to the young proto-sun in the middle of the nebula, the hotter you were. Okay, that makes sense. The sun was the source of the heat and the light energy. So the closer you were to it, the hotter you were, the farther away you were, the colder you were. Some compounds like water and ammonia were liquid or gaseous close to the sun um, as they can be here on Earth today, but further away they were solid, they were ice or snow. Uh, and this is still the case uh, out by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So these early planets as they were forming they had snow or ice um, to help them grow. And they started eating and collecting all this snow and ice, and they got much larger because of that um, than we did here closer to the sun. We were only collecting dust um, and rocks, and there was a lot less of that. So these guys became bigger. Now that had a second effect because their increased size allowed them to actually gather and accrete hydrogen. And that, well, there was a lot of hydrogen around, so if you could accrete hydrogen, then you were going to become very fat indeed, and these four outer gaseous planets did just that. And so we have the difference between the gas giants and the terrestrial planets. And here's uh, an image to just show you um, a dramatic comparison between the sizes of the terrestrial planets, the ones, the four closest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and then the next four, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, that are ginormous gas giants. And Pluto's out there just for old time's sake, it's not really a planet. But you can see there's a huge difference in scale between those two groups. If you would, take a moment and watch a video that I made today as I visited the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. You can go to youtube.com and search for mcolpac42, and you'll see my videos. There's one there that starts, the name starts with ESS for Earth and Space Science. So please watch that now. If you can't find it, you could always click on this link, and it should take you there. While you're there watching my video, please subscribe to my account so that when I post more videos in the future, you find out about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Part of your homework for this week is to answer the following questions. So have a look at those. You can type them into an email or find another way to send them to me. But um, this is part of your assignment for this week. All right, guys. Have a great week.